Pass the others. The last cell you keep to the right. I put out a chair for you. Oh, yes, that's very good. Thank you. I'll be watching. You'll do fine. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Can I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer, please. Closer. That expires in one week. You're not wearing a PI, aren't you? I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Mm -hmm. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. Sit. Please. Now then, tell me, what did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, I can smell your cunt. I see. I myself cannot. You use Evian skin cream. And sometimes you wear a lead at all. But not today. Did you do all these wrongs, Doctor? Ah. That is the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. You know, Florence? All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, perhaps you'd care to lend us your view on this questionnaire, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You were doing fine. You had been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You had established trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs. Now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire, it won't do. I'm only asking you to look at this, Doctor. Either you will or you won't. Yeah. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Please tell me. The newspapers won't say. Well, it started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide, and they said, this one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Throw me with your acumen. It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. You send that through now.
Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No. I, I, I thought that your knowledge... You're so ambitious, aren't you? Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. What is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? You know how quickly the boys found you. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end. See a lot, Doctor. When are you strong enough to point that high powered perception at yourself? What about it? Why don't you why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? Or maybe you're afraid to. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. You fly back to school now, little Starling. unspeakably ugly to me. Then do this test for me. No, but I will make you happy. I'll give you a chance for what you love most. And what is that, Doc? Advancement, of course. Listen carefully. Look deep within yourself, Clary Starling. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M-O-F-E-T. Go Doctor. now. I don't think Mix could manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Go now! 